Hello everybody, my name is Caventia, but you can call me Cav. I'm here with the new Cutter Scout variant, and let's check it out! During CitizenCon, amongst the phenomenal tech videos of upcoming features, this Drake Cutter straight to flyable Scout variant was announced. This is one of a trio of cutters created, the last of which is a blurry tease, which I'll show here. What do you think the third variant will be? This ship was showcased amongst conversation about the future of scanning. CIGs announced that the upcoming scan wave will replace the ping and ship scanning that currently exists in the game. So here we are, Drake Cutter Scout, stored at New Babbage, and it's focused as a scout. It's got two SCU of cargo, and it's designed for one crew. Let's go see it. And here we are. So we've got a, a fancy spoiler on the back. We've got a little window in the back here. We can spy on the scan station in the corner there, made by Chimera. We've got some fixed extra engines here. I wonder if that means it'll be faster. Some hose pipey type stuff. We've got our chunky VTOL engines that might be a bit further out, I'm not sure. Uh, we've got that kind of classic RV face. Has it got indicators? It looks like it's got indicators. I'm guessing those are little size ones on the chin turret for the pilot, of course. This is the default paint. Quite a cute looking RV. Oh, it may not have the window shutters that the other variant has. Interesting. Let's check out inside. Ramp access on either side. Very quick opening. Now, they said that this has changed to just a two SCU cargo grid. I don't know which slots are the cargo grid, but it does look like the back has significantly more space lengthwise than the old cutter. We might want to see what we can fit inside here. And we've got a close button here. Nice clunky sound effects, nice industrial feel. I kind of like these little windows. You can check your surroundings before you go out with a weapon or something. And much larger components. We've got this big cooler here, this big power plant here, and that's designed uh, to power the new scanning system. In here, we have got a bed, very functional Drake bed. We've got a space toilet, so it's already winning over the Cutlass Black in terms of amenities in a much smaller frame. I'm guessing this doesn't open. It's got an open button. What's in here? Oh, we got some uh, shared storage, it looks like. And the classic cutter cockpit right here. Uh, no life support yet. I'm sure that'll be coming soon. We've got some avionics and a little gun rack. Very nice. Is that a big gun rack? That looks like it might be able to fit one of the chunky guns. Little cargo net there. Very good use of space inside this little ship. Let's hear the fire up sounds. take her out for a spin. We've got a little light showing off the Drake logo on the back there. And if we turn our engines on, we get a slight glow coming from the rear facing thrusters and a heavier glow coming from the side thrusters. If we turn VTOL off, we get a bit more thrusters coming this way. And we've got some huge red intakes, kind of looks wide from the front. This, this, this feels wider than the normal cutter. And of course, the main distinguishing factor between the cutter and the scout variant is the satellite dish on top. Now I wonder, it just looks like it has the normal ping here. It doesn't feel like we're getting any new information. Thank you. 
we've got the highlighting of uh, all of the ships in the area, which I feel like might be new with 321. We seem to get more consistent outlines, but I don't think that means we have anything different happening with how the ship functions. Who's that? Is that someone on the ground? I wonder if they need some help. Well, we scouted and we found someone. Hello, person. Do you need a lift? You're right down there. Oh, oh, it's not somebody showing their torch off. It's a hover quad. Well, I kind of wanted to see if one of these fit inside this. So let's see if we can fit a hover quad inside. But first, I want to see if this is interactable. Use engineer station. Don't mind if I do. What's going on in the engineer station? How on? Radar system. Big buttons. Um, this doesn't look like it's doing anything. How do we deploy our radar dish? Well, as cool as this is, it doesn't really look like it does anything yet. Let's see if this thing fits in there. Whose is this? It's Ilkiwiwus. Ilkiwiwux. Uh, hover quad. Thank you, Ilkiwiwuk. I think it's broken. Now I'm sad. We'll go get our own hover quad. If I was the commons, where would I be? My scout can find the commons. Hey, the lizard cleared up. Look at those engines. We're only a small ship we can fit in here. It's fine. Beep, beep. This little RV needs a horn, I think. There you go. That should be easier to fit. Vehicle in. Power off. Wow, the turn off sounds of the Drake car is really loud. We'll try these two. Commons parking. Can I get out, please? Hey! Okay. Bit of off roading. Where's our ship? Over there. It's like they're made for each other. Come on. Oh, 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 no, no, come on. Come on, no, 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 no. Maybe they're not made for each other. Oh, it's looking good. Yeah, we're in. Now, the only problem is, I don't think there's any way I'm gonna be able to walk past this. It's in, but now there's no way I can get in. So the only way this is gonna fit is if I drive it in forwards, which nearly blew the ship up. That looks about right. Come on, it's like you're made for each other. Come on, you can do it. Yeah! Can I open the doors, please? Yeah! Oh, you're so slow. Oh, you're such a slow little ship with all those engines, aren't you? Exit atmosphere. Are we still not out the atmosphere yet? Gosh dang it. Despite my best efforts, I still haven't managed to get the radar dish to pop up. But I am happy to see that we have another ship that we can fit a vehicle inside. However, squeezing past this is impossible. Oh, hello Mr. A1, how you doing? Get out of the way, buddy. We lined up? We look like we're lined up. It's gonna work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're in. We're totally in. Oh, that's awesome. Engine's off. And Oh, that looks more stable. And I can get off. And I can walk around it. Well, hey, look at that. Hello. So it turns out you can quite comfortably fit a hover quad inside this as well. Not just fit it in, but also you can easily walk around it and you can shut the door. With room to spare. Now, could you fit a hover quad inside a normal cutter? I'm not so sure because I swear they made this a little bit longer. And this seems to fit in here very comfortably. My guess is you might even be able to fit a Drake Dragonfly in here too. 
Sadly, we don't have a Drake Dragonfly, but maybe we should go and buy one. Oh, but this I gotta say. This is something I actually wanted to know myself when I had in my last video. I wanted to know if we could fit the, uh, the rock in there too. I get to witness firsthand. Whose ship is this? Yutja. Come on, Yutja, you can do it, buddy. Easy does it. Oh, nice and slow. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Are you done? Good job, man. Uh, we can get out. And yeah, we can get out too. Oh, bye. Have fun rock mining in your A1. <laughs> that kind of ties up some loose ends from my last video. Thank you, stranger. One very happy and stable hover quad. Despite us um, falling, falling to our deaths, I think. Yep, yep, falling to our deaths. Um, oops, decoupled. Uh, uh, okay, yep. Yeah, that was totally planned. Totally planned uh, for, for, for comedy and stuff. Yep. You can do it. You can do it, little beastie. You can get out of atmosphere. You know, one thing about having very, very slow ships and thick atmosphere is you have plenty of time to set up these nice cinematic shots. I like the little windows where you can spy on what's inside. I think with the recent release of the Corsair and the Vulture and the Cutter, Drake's design language has really evolved into its own style. Oh, this is long. I'm not confident this will fit now. We'll see, we'll see. So I did a little bit of research and it turns out that one, yes, you can buy a Drake Dragonfly from Lawville. And two, the Drake Dragonfly does not fit in the other cutter. I think it's gonna fit. I have faith. Well, there goes nothing. Oh. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, we're good. We're good. Was that it? There we go. No, 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 no. I'll back out a bit. I'll back out. I, I take it back. I take it back. No, 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 no. Don't destroy. Don't destroy. Let's see if we can back this out real quick. We'll try again. We'll try again. We can do this. We can do this. No pressure. Are we good? Mm, so uh, let's let's try and take off with this. That's that's something we can do, right? Um, I'll just uh, I'll just get get out of here. Perfectly normal way to uh, enter and exit a ship. Uh, yep. You see, we can we can get past and everything. Uh huh. Perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. And let's. Uh, Close the hatch, which will which will go fine. It, it, and as you can see, it's a, it's a very happy bike in there. Super happy. I'm sure it won't have any issues. Oh. Oh, hold on a second. I mean, hull's not damaged or anything. Well, there you have it. The Drake Dragonfly does indeed fit in this variant of the cutter. So if you love the Drake Dragonfly and you're super interested in the upcoming radar scanning and scouting opportunities this ship may give you, you may want to consider this over the base cutter for an extra $5. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye bye. <laughs> Look at this little cutie. This thing always kind of reminds me of like a space bumblebee for some reason. Have I missed where I'm going? I think I miss where I'm going. Oh, I hate the engine noise of this thing. No, no, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Let me, let me in the pilot seat. Let me in. I need that engine off. Curse you, Drake. And the award for the most annoying engine sound goes to the Drake Mule. Let's see what this VTOL can do and... Does that improve our roll rate? Oh, you little chunker. Oh, 
Hi frames. Hi frames. Oh shit, how long have I been muted for? Don't be dead, dude. Don't be dead. Don't be dead. We got a med pen on me? I don't have a med pen. This drink ship killed me. Oh, I'm okay. Piece of crap. 